Okay, YouTube, what's up? How's it going? Everybody having a good day so far? I hope so. Um, this is my collection video. Um, there's been some new additions since I made the one last. Um, first off, I want to get this out of the way. Big box of samples with no known filing system known to man. Yes, that's a movie quote. Don't flame me. Um, let's kick this off, right? First bottle I got is diesel's fuel for life um, I like this packaging it's a really good smell this coat does come off um, kind of a sweeter kind of like a licorice note to my nose um, my next bottle is one that I've had since high school and I just can't you know get rid of because of the memories um, I don't wear it anymore it's Kira by it's fragrance from Pac Sun. Um, I don't wear it anymore, but at the same time, I just I've had too many good memories wearing that. Um, another recent purchase is Rockaware 10, the Diamond Celebration Edition. Um, I actually found that one at a TJ Maxx. Only cost me like. 21 bucks or something like that, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, next bottles, as are the chrome. Another one that doesn't get worn too much, especially in the colder months like it is now. Um, next bottle I got in a swap. Um, I'm open to swapping this. It's just not for me. Um, Tommy Bahama. Next bottle um, is. Arpage Pour Homme by Lanvin Paris. Um, it's an alright scent. I don't wear it. Um, I've just got so many others that I wear more frequently. Uh, the next bottle is Chergui. No, I have not worn all this. I split half the bottle um, with Jerron Howard. And I've given traded away five mils of it. So... But that's still a significant amount of juice that I have used um, since I got it. My next bottle is um, Rokas Man. Um, actually, just kind of looks like a flashlight. It, you know, fits well in your hand. Um, that one, it's like there's that one. Pure Coffee by Thierry Mugler and New Harlem is kind of coffee scents um, I think New Harlem is the best it New Harlem has just the right amount of um, coffee and just the right amount of sweetness to it um, Rokos man is just too sweet and not enough coffee uh, pure coffee is just not enough sweet and way too much coffee for my personal taste um, next bottle I got is Lacoste Pour Homme um, Another spring fragrance, or summer I should say. Next bottle I got is Armani Code. Um, it's a classic. Next bottle is um, Canali for men. Um, under the radar, fairly great scent. I really can't describe that one. My nose is just too um, full of New Harlem and uh, Fahrenheit right now. Um, next bottle is Clubber's Favorite, One Million by Paco Rabanne. Um, really nice um, blood orange kind of sweetness to it. Another dangerous one if you over apply it or wear it or too much of it in the heat. It will get clean. Um, my next bottle is Chanel Olor Homme. Um, I'd classify this as timeless elegance, just because it, you know it's a classic. Um, next bottle is um, my romantic scent from my starting lineup video, um, La Nuit de l'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, the next bottle is I Am King by Sean John. Um, It's not bad for a celebrity scent, it just doesn't, it's got some pretty crappy longevity actually. 
Um, the next one is a department store fragrance, um, Hollister SoCal. Um, it's pleasant. I don't, I don't really wear it a lot, but I, you know, it's more of a room spray for me because it's pleasant, but I don't really wear it a lot out in public. Um, my next fragrance is one of my most heavily used fragrances of 2010. Um, Dolce and Gabbana the one. Now, aside from about 10 mils that I decanted out of this to give to friends and etc. That's how much I've used um, in 2010. So that was pretty much my main signature scent across the entire 2010. My next bottle is a bottle that I always have. A bottle that I had a smaller version of that um, I left in my car for a few months and it ended up going bad because you know the heat changes and whatnot listen don't keep fragrances in your car some you might get away with but you never know when it's gonna bite you in the ass so that's Angel Men by Thierry Mugler um, next bottle is also by Thierry Mugler it's pure malt um, very well done. Um, I do have a backup bottle. That's the only bottle that I have a backup of right now. Um, next bottle is B Men by Thierry Mugler. Um, I don't know what to say about this one. I really haven't worn it at all since I've got it. Um, next bottle is by Diesel. It's called Only the Brave, I believe. Um, I got this in a swap and I really just haven't worn it. So I've just got too much other stuff that I'm uh, enthused about right now. Next bottle is Green Irish Tweed by Creed. Um, I do get solid longevity out of this. Um, I'm one of the lucky ones, I guess. Uh, next bottle is one that I actually just bought about an hour or so ago, I think. Yeah, it's Fahrenheit by Dior. Um, I sprayed a little bit on my hand. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't buy it sooner. Um, I do like that one quite a bit, actually. I'm glad I bought it. Um, next bottle is one you might recognize that will soon be out of my collection, I hope. Um, I'm doing a giveaway soon, Burberry London. Um, this one is like following a bottle. You know, it's. Yeah, you're. Spice, you know, you got your little bit of woods. Um, reminds me of a Christmas tree, really. Just reminds me of, you know, the whole Christmas time of the year. Um, I got a couple. Now, on to. That's all my full bottles. On to my splits and little miscellaneous decants that I've got. Um, Aqua de Gio. Um, I split it with a friend. Um, you know, just to help him out. And now he wants me to give him that for free. Go figure, right? Um, Virgin Island Water by Creed. Um, this one, it blends really well with my skin. Uh, glad I got this from Will. Um, great splitter. Um, I got a couple more splits that I participated with Will. Um, the first one is Tonka Imperial by Guerlain. Um, this is all I have left of 10 mils, so, um, and I got that around mid-December, so I've been using that one quite a lot. Um, I haven't really worn Muscravajar by Edition de Parfum Frederic Mal very much, but that's just because I've been, you know, so heavy on the Tonka Imperial, but it's quality scent in and of itself. Um, scent that I just barely got in the mail yesterday, that I've been trying to find for ages, um, is Bon Number Nine's New Harlem. As I mentioned earlier in this video, it's got just the right amount of sweetness and the just perfect touch of coffee. Um, it is second on my buy list now. It, you know, jumped right into that spot after sniffing it once. I just knew that I was going to be in love with it. And after wearing it on my skin, I was not wrong on that one. 
Um, then I have this little, um, it's like four mils of La Ligue, Ancre et Noir. I bought a mini, you know, I bought it blind, so, and it's in, it came in a little splash vial, and I don't do splash vials at all. I hate them. And it is on my buy list, but it's not number one at all, or number two, clearly. It's really woody, and I was surprised that I liked it so much just because I'm so heavily into gourmands. But I definitely will be purchasing a bottle of it sometime in 2011. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. Um, peace, guys.